Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Self the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very, terrible. Very, very <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. If we don't catch them within the natural order, then perhaps it is time to pursue them to the spiritual realm. Impunity in the spirit world. I did not believe in ghosts, but with the Nigerian ghost workers phenomenon, my own belief has been shaken. So who is a ghost worker? Someone who appears on a company's payroll, but who doesn't actually work for the company? Quoting the former finance minister, Mr. Sewela, by 2015, implementation of the IPPIS had led to the elimination of about 65,000 ghost workers, thus saving the government about 1.1 billion US dollars in fraudulent payroll costs. Since 2015, there have also been several numbers rolled out about more ghost workers that were eliminated and the ghost salaries that were saved. However, there are unanswered questions that smell like impunity. Let us say that last month, there were 10 names on an MDA's payroll. And upon adoption of IPPIs this month, we found out that three of the 10 are ghosts. So who collected the salaries of the three ghosts for last month? If it was paid in cash, somebody showed up, collected the money, and signed. If it was paid to the bank account, it means we have full information, including the picture, signature, BVN, biometrics of this ghost. Who are these ghosts? And why have we never shown interest in naming and shaming them? Recovering the ghost salaries that have been collected in the past and making them face the law for defrauding all of us. Someone said, maybe because they are ghosts. <laughs> I hereby advocate that the anti-corruption war be extended to the spirit world, where Nigerian ghost workers seem to reign in absolute impunity. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. I, I really can't. Fantastic. Because serious. how can ghosts actually have a payroll? Yeah. Uh, actually have a bank account. How do they collect the money? Yes. Who enrolled those ghosts in the payroll? They do the have system they is do corrupt. Have, yeah. it's it's within the system. Absolutely. So until you the footprint. until so we call them out, mm -hmm. like you said, they must refund the money. Mm. They can't they should go to jail, mm -hmm. confiscate their assets. There must be real consequences because that same money can go in developing that community. Mm -hmm. I and completely and people agree are with just you. Taking money that dead people are, are appearing on on the. Oh uh, but, but what about um, even but, 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 our governments? When our problem, really. government was newly appointed, they appointed. Ghosts, oh, uh, please. board members. Yeah, yes. now, yeah, now, yeah, now board members. Are no, are we a of ghosts? At that level, <laughs> no, at that level, you have to then understand that there's something sinister right the going system. on. Because you know, you can't tell me you're about to appoint somebody to an important position. You have not seen no them. Verification. You have not heard them. No verification. No <coughs> confirmation. No nothing. They submitted no their resume. Yeah, yeah but, but but for, really, um, you have um, a lot of. Um, workers who are ghosts or ghost workers as they call it mm -hmm. because government is the only thriving business in Nigeria. It's the biggest business. Um, I was in Abuja recently and um, I had cause to discuss with a director in one of the ministry and he said look do you know that you know government go, the federal government has about um, 1.2 million workers and of this 1.2 million only about less than a hundred thousand actually civil servants. Hmm. The rest are ministries, parastatals and MDAs, and then political appointees, mm. many. And so, when you have this um, kind of government where everybody feels is a turn to chop. Hmm. Turn and so, you have opportunity, you put all your children who are not working. They don't even know that their names are on payroll. 
Look at Mena. Mena operated your accounts, <laughs> accounts <laughs> in his brother's name. They didn't even know they owned those accounts. Patient Jonathan operated account in House Help's name. Oh, help us. And those ones didn't know. True. All of these are ghost accounts. But can, may I you come know, in? So quickly, mm. let me round up. Mm, please round up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, why this is like that? Because everybody believes government is opportunity to eat. That's, That's why okay. people will kill to be in government. Mm. And so when it's you get money. there, there are no sanctions. The solution to all of this mm -hmm. is we need to find people who truly have a passion for service and Come not on. those who are pretending to serve. And the only yes. way we can get those people is we need to... Our electoral process to be... Our electoral process to be transferred. To get it right. oh, and that's why we are talking to educate the yeah. people let me, so that let me, charged. Let me, let me oh, bring in the point. You, as let me, as uh, Rookie said. <laughs> okay, let me bring in this Because point. you can't trace these ghost workers. Yeah, you can't yeah. tell me you can't trace Absolutely. them. Just like you've now listed who ran what accounts. Yes. You, just you, you normal citizen. <laughs> Hannah, we know this. Why are we not doing anything <laughs> about it? Okay, let me just bring well, this point. Let me bring this point in, actually. Yes. Because it, I was listening to the, the discussion recently and they were talking about fake professors in ASU. Yes. And for me, it all boils down to the same thing. We don't have a very and, strong yeah. verification Processes. culture. It's like people are happy to overlook a lot of things. They, you know, someone said to me that. Wait, 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 yeah, so it's almost like we, if some people, someone even said that we like to allow these loopholes. We don't like rigid systems. You know, oh, you're doing too much like a Yubo person. Because if you now block off and make sure people verify things, it cuts off even the oxygen for them to steal in ghost work. Definitely. And so for me, the, the fake professors are a similar kind of phenomenon, yeah. albeit that they're not in government. We need to strengthen. When we see systems, people shouldn't feel defensive towards systems. They're actually there to protect. They're mm -hmm. kind of default. Uh, they, they don't fake, um, what do you call it? Systems don't see your face. They don't, they don't have any face. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like systems. Yeah, because me too. If, if whether you're on this side or that side, it will catch you out. Mm -hmm. But we don't like it in Nigeria. I think we need to imbibe that culture so it goes all the way to the top. Because you, otherwise, it goes to the thing that really to show makes up. me crazy. Sorry, sorry, is this, sorry. sorry, I just have to land this one. Yes, is this land it. entering into the airport? We're still giving tickets, and sometimes you don't get a ticket means someone is taking that money. You, you, every country... I always ask for it to get Every country yeah. doesn't make sense. Even yeah. in Ghana, See, it's, 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 it's automated. Yes. Why you, are we still doing that? Yeah. Someone have, has to chop money. You say you're a fake... You say you discover seven fake professors. Yes. Like Bolaho said, mm. they have colleagues. They work together. Yes. Somebody they the cold room together. So they collect some Ah, cold they room. You sit down. That was my Exactly. Body. You sit down in the offices. You lecture together. Mm and there is a verification system in the department. How come you have fake? And you just weed out the person, and so nobody is no sanctioned. Nothing. Nobody is. Nothing. So the man that has been paying them salaries uh -huh. is not sanctioned. Mm -hmm. The man who employed them is not sanctioned. Mm -hmm. And because they're, they're all, all in on it. They're all in on it. That's why yeah. everybody is collecting their little... That is good. In no order to keep the no ghost more. worker in play. Yeah. That's it. That's, really that's the only way a ghost worker can... It's a system of impunity. And when you talk, they say, uh, is it your money? Is it your mm. money? Mm. Government, government money, money is actually your it's money. It's my money. It's your exactly. money more than anything. And if citizens will pay their taxes properly in this country, they'll be more concerned what happens in the public se mm -hmm. sector. Mm. There's a lot of people that don't pay taxes. And this is very important. In Canada, no, I can talk I can and why people do not pay about taxes. I'm not trying to encourage No, them. I'm just saying mm. that... Go to other tax. countries. I do pay taxes. No, it's good to I, pay. Pay. I do pay taxes. Mm, to Listen pay. to me. In Sweden... The government controls everything. Mm. They're happy for the government to make everything. all their decisions. And, the and they take sometimes 60% of their income. Correct. They're happy for that. Mm. Yeah, because, because they, they can't see what they're doing with that. The, 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 the and everything is equal. There's no gates, there's no fences, there's no crime. I'm telling you that people will be happy to pay taxes when but they Sweden see. So no, but by the time they start... But why will anyone want to pay tax when he knows that the money is going to a boost? So the truth is, there's no accountability for what's being paid But why would you want to pay tax when the money goes to a boost? We <laughs> truly need praise and worship before this. Uh, we, need, we need to fix okay, all those things. But most importantly, it comes down to us. Everything is not government. Mm. Individuals must, must. I'm sure take you see these ghost, ghost scenarios yes. all around us every day, okay. actually. At times, we seem to be in jest when we are truly in earnest. However, believe me when I say that we have come to the end of this stimulating edition. However, continue to keep your fingers on the pulse of things. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, 
on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com slash the Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like a terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.